In this video, we are going to cover how to fix any kind of crashes and freezing in Fortnite brand new season OG video, any PC or laptop. And guys, these settings are completely safe and compatible with all the PCs. So make sure to watch my this whole video, therefore, you can fix your this problem. So, without wasting any time, let's dive straight into our this video. Gear Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you're playing games using your wired or wireless connection. This is the one of the best programs for rerouting your network and help you to connecting with the nearest server of the game for achieving the better ping with lower input delay. So guys, make sure to check out the link in the description for downloading this tool and enjoy the free trial using my link in the description. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to repair the easy anti-cheat on our PC. So guys, for that, open up your file explorer, go for local book C, now go for program file, open up Epic Games, go for Fortnite folder, Fortnite game, binary bin 54, and there you will find out your easy anti-cheat camo folder. Open up this folder and go for easy anti-cheat setup.exe file. Now right click here and run this as administrator and PTS. Here you will find out your easy anti cheat and this is the reason behind the crashing of your Fortnite. So guys click on the repair service button. This will uninstall the battle eye and again renew all the file of your easy anti cheat. Once you successfully installed the easy anti cheat on your PC, click on this finish button and go back. Now go for battle eye, open up this folder. Here you will find that uninstall battle eye. Right click here, again run this as administrator and hit yes this will uninstall the battle eye from your fortnite after that you need to go for install battle eye right click here and again run this as administrator and hit yes and this will install the battle eye again on your pc now in the next step we are going to configure our fortnite game new settings and after that we're also going to delete all the crashes reported of our fortnite so guys for that press windows up together from your keyboard and type here percentage local app data percentage now hit ok now scroll down and find fortnite games folder go for save config windows client and there you will find out your game in settings dot i and i file right click here go for the properties of this file and make sure to uncheck the read only box from here now hit apply and click ok now right click here go for edit button and now you need to press ctrl f from your keyboard and now type here b allow with the same capitalization click on this next button and you will find out and here you will find out b allow multi-thread rendering so guys simply change the settings from false to true because this will allow your cpu to use the multiple core of your cpu and also help you to increase in your pc performance so once you change here the settings now go for this file option and hit save and save the settings in your fortnite kino settings now after that go back and go into the fortnite save directory and there you will find out this crashes folder open up this folder and delete this folder from here therefore this will delete all the previous cache or the details of the crashes of your fortnite after that go for this logs option and there you will find that fortnite bag of file select all this file from here now hit delete and delete all this file from here and close out this directory now in the next step we are going to delete all the temporary and prefetch file of our windows so press windows are together and you will find out this one tab now type here percentage temp percentage and hit ok now you will find out here multiple files select all the file from this directory and again click on the delete button and delete all the unused junk file from your pc after that click on this cancel button and skip the file on this directory now again press windows R together from your keyboard but this time type here prefetch and press enter click on this continue button again select all this file click on the delete button and delete all the files from this folder now in the next step open up your windows settings and go for windows update and guys make sure to always update all the drivers and update of your windows so click on the download button and download all the available update of your windows after that go for the app settings of your windows and guys find out here if you have the visual distribution pack installed on your windows or not if it's not available on your pc so guys i suggest you to open up the link from description it will take you to my this website and there you will find out how to fix crashes and freezing in fortnite in og season so open up this article and download the visual c plus plus and directx 11 file on your pc you will find this fortnite all crashes fix.rr file on your pc simply extract and you will find out directx 11 folder and visual c runtime folder open up directx 11 folder scroll down go for the setup exe file and install the directx 11 on your pc i have already installed it so therefore i am not performing it again on my pc now go for next folder and there you will find out all the packs of the redistribution 
of Visual C++. So you need to go for the install all bad file and install all this file one by one on your PC. Now guys, simply close out this folder. Now in the next step, I'm going to show you some important settings for the Epic Games Launcher. So for that, open up your Epic Games Launcher and go into the library of your Epic Games. There you will find out your Fortnite. So go for the three dots and go for the options. Now from here, follow my all the settings, uncheck high resolution texture. This will also help you to improving or increasing your FPS in Fortnite. After that, here you will find out the DirectX 12 shaders. So uncheck this box from here. Now go for disable cross match streaming. Also check mark on this box. After that, here is the languages. It is on your personal preference. After that, hit apply and save the settings. After that, go for the three dots again. Now go for this manage option. And there you will find that verify files option. Click on the verify button and verify all the files of your Fortnite. If any of the file of your Fortnite is missing, so it will automatically find that and recover that file on your PC. Now once you follow all the settings on your PC for fixing the crashes in Fortnite, now you need to simply one time restart your PC. Therefore, all the changes take effect. After that, launch your Fortnite and hopefully you will not get any error or crash on your PC again. So I hope so you love this video. Please make sure to drop a like, subscribe to my channel and to let the next video peace out.